Hi everyone, welcome to Wealthy Mindset. My name is Oliver. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day, like always. And in today's video, I'm going to be covering GameStop for trading week March 8th, a March 8th to the 12th. I can't say it for some reason, but I think you guys are going to like this video a lot. Um, you'll see. Stay tuned. It's, it's going to be a quick video, hopefully. And uh, I'm going to give you guys the lows and the highs, like always, by analyzing the graph. Now this. This week's gonna be a little bit different because I'm extremely busy this week. So I'll only be able to update you guys with the comment down below and I'll pin it. So that way it'll be like text updates. I won't be able to update you guys like usual with like video updates every day or every other day. So I apologize for that. And uh, quick disclaimer, like always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a professional, and everything I do share with you guys is just my opinion, it's not advice. So please do not buy or sell based off the opinion I, I do for him with the information I show you. Please do your own due diligence and research before buying and selling. I'm gonna tell you guys why I'm extremely optimistic for this trading week. And uh, like always, I'm gonna give you guys the upside and the downside, giving you guys the support levels and the resistance levels. And if you're new to the channel, I highly encourage you guys to watch the video all the way to the end. So that way you guys know why I have these upward trend support lines, why they're significant. But before I get to that, I'm gonna explain the upside. And there's roughly about four to five reasons. And the fifth reason would be the Dow Jones because this week, trading week, I believe it's gonna be going up because the, the Senate did pass the stimulus bill. And it looks like by the end of the week, it probably March 12th, the whole entire stimulus bill could pass. So that would be a catalyst that the market would be going up. But for you guys, you guys already know, you guys are already moving without even the market sometimes. So moving to the upside, even though the market was down. So kudos, kudos to you, that was awesome. And hopefully, so I'm gonna go through the reasons to the upside. So you guys are above both moving averages, so that's good. You are you have an upward trend support line right here that's carrying you guys through, which is even better. And you have a downward trend resistance line right here that has touch points on March 27th, March 28th. And right here, if I zoom in, the more I zoom in, you can see the touch point, but touch point right here as well, and a touch point right here. You guys passed it, so that's even better. The one thing that I'm kind of worried about is the MAC line right here is in the negative, unfortunately, but the scenario I think could play out if you're worried about that is a short moving average average right here. You see how the upward trend support line acted as support and then acted as resistance right here? Well, I think the same thing is gonna happen hypothetically on Monday, where if it does happen, it would be on Monday, it would be knocked down to below the support level and then act as resistance, come back, support, resistance, and then finally break through. Now, it could do that once or twice in terms of back test and support and resistance. So keep that in mind. And it doesn't necessarily have to happen, but if it does happen because of the MAC line, that is a potential play. Again, nobody knows for sure. Take everything with a grain of salt. The main thing that you should probably be concerned about is the levels as support and resistance. So if that's the case, you would start off with support at the 132, 133, continue on the upward trend support line. And like, even though this is not a potential because the stock is extremely volatile, and we already know that the stock doesn't move in like a smooth movement to the upside, but if it does and you're banking on that, then you would continue on this upward trend support line like, like this, hypothetically, and close off the week at somewhere between the 388, 387, 393, 390, somewhere around there. Um, but we already know that doesn't happen for this stock, but that's where you would be closing around there roughly by the end of the week if you think it's just gonna continue on the upward trend support line. Now, the issue, like the resistance levels that you're gonna have issues with is passing the 137 to begin with, which you did, but you could get brought back down as we already know. But if you pass that, the next levels you have issues with is 142, 140, then once you pass that, you have 150 to 157, then the 170 to 177, and then ultimately, I think what's gonna, you guys, I think you guys are gonna not only end the week with this, but you're gonna get knocked down multiple times at the 197, 198, 199, and $200 price point. So right about here. If you guys do pass it, which is awesome, I hope you guys do, then you're looking at the 232, 232 233, 234, um, price point level. Keep in mind, there could be false breakouts because for example, the 170, the main resistance is at the 170, but the false breakouts that count for it is at the 177. So at the 232, 233, 34, there could be more false breakouts to the upside, but you guys, I think you guys would get knocked down at that point because 
or not knocked down, but like you, you would have a lot more resistance at that level and then even more resistance at the 253, 254, and then up to 260. Once you guys pass that, you guys are in, in the clear to go to the three, 300 and 400 because yes, there is more resistance levels, but I don't, you don't, don't see much resistance until 346. Um, and then once you pass that, I think you guys built up enough momentum to just cleanly go through it. But again, we're gonna have to assess this week by week, day by day. So nobody knows for sure. Just be careful with everything in terms of investing. Make sure you make the right decision for yourself financially. But these are the levels. So um, I probably should have included it. The main level after this is 190, uh, 197, 198, 199. The 200 technically is not really resistance, but playing in with hypothetical psychological numbers, those clean numbers always act as support and resistance automatically. So 197, 198, 199 to the upside. And I think that will be played upon this week um, for sure. Even if you were to go up with this uh, upward trend support line as a smooth support line. Now, if you were to go to the downside, you do have support like we stated with the one, 132, 133, 134, but anywhere between 130 to 137. And then after that, you're looking at support at the 128, 127. This moving average, the short one, is gonna act as support at the 129 when I measured it which more, more, like more solidifies the 127, 128, 129. Then you're dropping down to the 119 and $119.112.80, quite a bit of support right here. Actually, a lot of support, by the way. You might even, if you were to come down, consolidate here for quite a while, then you have um, support at the 100. By the time the long moving average gets you guys, it'll probably be at the 110 price point. So there would be support at the 110. I didn't include it because this moving average is gonna move at different prices, so it's hard to tell, but a lot of support at the $100 price point. It's gonna take a while, but even if you do break it, I think this will hold you guys through. So $97, 93 is not major support, 97 was a lot of support, and then you have a lot of support at $86.42. I know I'm going down, but there's gonna be, the, like once I get to this level, it's gonna make more sense because these upward trend support lines actually show through. So. Once you break $86.42, it gets iffy here because now you're relying on these upward trend support lines. This one dates back since September 2020. If you've been on the channel before, you've seen this. There's multiple clean touch points if I zoom in. And then there's an upward trend support line right here dating back since uh, December 2020. So this is September 2020. This is December 2020 all the way through here. And if you think it's just gonna start tanking, like like just pretty much break, like even it goes up and just starts breaking through all these support levels, it doesn't even care, and then comes here, and then you think it's gonna bounce up, hopefully if it does do that, it does bounce up, you're looking at support starting at pretty much the $69, but I would say $70 by the time you get to it, because it wouldn't be a clean drop, even though it is possible, anything is possible, but I think it would take some time, so you'd have support starting at pretty much the $70 price point, going all the way through to, I guess, $82, 80, yeah, $82 by the end of the week. But if you wanna see the price points are right here, as I'm moving the, uh, the cursor, you could see the support levels climbing up to $82, so there's that. And then if you think it's gonna drop down to the September support line, upward trend support line, then you're thinking it's gonna drop to, wow, okay, so $56.81, I'd say $56 clean, let's just say, but before you get to that, you have quite a bit of support at the $66 and $68 price point. Between these levels, there was a little bit of support at $63, but it wasn't that major of a support level, so I would just rely pretty much at the $56 to $56 and 81 cents, 56, and rising up all the way by the end of the week to the $70, $70 price point. So you could almost see, even by the end of the week, if you hold through all the way through and then drop down, there would be quite a bit of support at the $70 price point. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm pretty optimistic overall. I think you guys are gonna end up going up throughout this week. Like you might have false breakouts where like, yes, you might come down, get knocked down, and maybe the, the long moving average might support you. You might go back up and back up to the support line. We'll see. Again, anything is possible. Take everything with a grain of salt. Do your research, do your own due diligence and do not buy and sell based off what I show you. But overall, seems promising, but we'll see. Hopefully you guys do do pretty well. Best of luck with your investments. Um, if you do like videos in terms of stocks, passive income, mortgages, financial freedom, 
um, videos like these, consider subscribing. It does help out the channel a lot. Thank you so much. Thanks again for watching like always. And if you do like the video, consider dropping a like. It does help out the channel. Thank you so much in advance. Really appreciate it. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. Um, I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.